Hey, it's the preacher, and I'm at America's favorite shell pit, the shell pit where I shoot crazy stuff at. Anyways, I'm out here today with the Turkish imported 12-gauge tactical shotgun. This was brought in by Rock Island Arms. It was made by some company I can't pronounce in Deary, Deeria, Deeria, here. Take a good close look at that. Okay, this is the Lion chambered in three inch, 12 gauge. And I gotta be honest with you, the only reason I bought it was for price. Uh, I saw this gun at Atwood's. It was on sale for $199. And I was like, uh, that's gotta be the most useless shotgun I've ever seen. You can't hunt with it. You can't shoot skeets with it. I mean, you could, but there are better shotguns for that. But it was $199, and so the more I thought about it, the more I began to realize that this gun really is a problem solver. If somebody's breaking into your house in the middle of the night, this is a close quarters point and shoot gun. Has an 18 and a half inch barrel. Uh, you can be off a couple inches and still hit them with a good pattern of birdshot or buckshot. So what I wanna do today is show you all of the uses that you could use a $199 tactical shotgun for, and I want to put some rounds through it. All right, I have a target set up. I'm at seven paces. This is basically 20, 21 feet, which is the width of my living room. So if I were sitting on the recliner and this dude, this bad dude here breaks into my house and we're 21 feet away, this is the pattern that I would put on him center mass. Let's go have a look at it. All right, as you can see, I'm going to say we uh, we hit about an inch low and about an inch or two right. I think that was the wadding that hit there. So it shoots a little low at seven yards or 21 feet. Let's back up and try it again. And this time we'll shoot it maybe the length of my hallway, maybe 40 feet. Okay, now we are at 14 paces or roughly 42 feet. This would be the longest shot that I could have in my home. Well, I mean, I guess technically I could shoot through one room, across another, into the hallway, but basically this is from the far end of my, of my living room all the way down the hallway to the garage door. If that guy were at the garage door, I'm gonna aim at that middle guy's head and let's see what happens. As we can see, from 14 yards, there is about a 10 inch circle of birdshot right around the head. The, uh, we're a little low at seven yards because our sights are elevated. So what I'm looking at here is a lethal round of birdshot. If, if one and an eighth ounce of lead hits you in a concentrated 10 inch circle at 14 yards, you're probably gonna come off your feet and that's probably going to be enough impact to, to severely disarm you. And so, uh, uh, yeah, no, I agree, buckshot would be better, but birdshot's what I prefer inside the house because buckshot will go through sheetrock, birdshot won't. Now, if you're planning on having a shootout with somebody like you see in a, in a Hollywood movie where y'all are firing 30 rounds at each other with pistols, then I hope nobody else is asleep in any of the bedrooms of your house or in the bathroom. But birdshot in a house, lethal at 14 steps or 40 feet, which is a pretty long shot for a house. So let's see if this shotgun will solve any other problems. What do you do if somebody in the church invites you over to the house for supper and you get over there and the only salad dressing they have is Italian? Problem solved. Ever had a jar lid you couldn't get broke loose? Problem solver. Problem solved. Ever had an egg you can't crack? Problem solved. <laughs> but have you ever had a big egg you couldn't crack? Kind of rattly. Problem solved. 
Do you ever need to turn out the lights? Problem solved. Oh, you mean you need to turn out all the lights? Well, I think it's just about everybody in America is back to school now. What are you going to do if you've got to send your kids to school and you don't have any lunch meat? You can't send them kids to school without lunch unless you have a problem solver. You can't do a shotgun video without a stagecoach robbery with somebody riding shotgun. Oh man. I accidentally got him. My my bad. My bad. Okay, not good for stagecoach. What if Captain Phasma Bobblehead is after you? Problem solver. Seriously, who's going to get in a sword fight with a pirate these days? Problem solver. Space age weapons are no match for the old scatter gun. Well, a little low. That one's on me. Sweat in my eye and I shot from the closed eye. Sometimes you wound them with a shotgun, but a quick follow-up shot's easy provided. So don't think of these as useless tactical shotguns that are only good for home self-defense, because they're not. As we've clearly demonstrated, you can crack eggs with them, you can loosen tightened jar lids, you can save yourself from enemy danger. I guess the only thing we found out today Turn off the lights. Probably shouldn't use them to rescue a stagecoach holdup. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you hit the good guys. And quite honestly, I gotta get out of here. It smells like Italian dressing. And uh, I think I'm gonna go to Waffle House and get an omelet. I don't know why, but I'm craving it. So, thanks for watching. Go out and get yourself a very useful problem solver. If you can catch them on sale, I got this one for $199. Highly recommend it.